Hello. Today I'd like to show you how we can use the Casio FX9750G2 to enter data and perform statistical calculations. When we turn the machine on, we see our main menu with all these various icons for different choices for our calculator. This calculator can really do a lot. So notice we're positioned on STAT. Now if we were not there, we would use this dial to navigate the screen. And once I'm on STAT, then I just hit Execute. This brings us into our STAT menu. And you can see where we have several lists across the top for entering our data. So I've got list one and two and so on. Well, I'm here in list one and I've started to enter some data. So let me let you get caught up with me and let's enter some more. So I've got 69, 85, 73, 68, and I'll come down here. Number five, let's enter 93. Execute will enter, or I could just hit down. 95, execute. I'm hitting execute each time. 86, execute. 78, execute. 80. Two, execute, 80, execute. I've entered 10 numbers. And now I'm going to calculate some statistics. Now, to do that, if you look underneath the graph, you see these options underneath the chart here. And this one, let's see if I can zoom in here for you, it says graph. and then calculate and test and there are more options the one we want to use is calculate so we're going to hit this F2 and brings up that menu now the option we want will be one variable but before we do that I have to make sure I'm set so I hit F6 where it says set now, these are the choices we have. One variable, list, and frequency. See, I've got two choices. And for two variable, I've got X and Y and frequency. Now, this gets important. Notice for one variable, X list, it says the data is in list number one. And this is raw data. So there are no frequencies. So each number has a frequency of one. Notice one variable frequency is one. And that means the frequency is one. So I'm going to come back. I'm going to exit out of that. I hit exit. Exit out. And here's my data. So now I can hit one variable. And the calculator gives me lots of results. The mean is 80.9. The population standard deviation 8.768. The sample 9.24. Now, let me scroll down. Where do you see what else this gives you? It gives you your five number summary. And then it gives you the modes. Not that we need the modes, but it's there for us. Okay? And that's all I have. And I've got it, and I'm good to go. Now, this calculator will also graph data. And I can exit. Hit exit. Brings me back to this menu. I hit exit a second time. It comes back to this menu, and I can hit my graph key and if I hit graph one 
it shows me a box plot for my data, which is really nice. More about box plots later, but that's how I can get a box plot for this data. I do have to make sure that I've set the plot so it will include any outliers. Alrighty. For my next example, I want to exit. So I'm back to my chart. I'm going to come to the top. Now let's say I want to use this calculator for grouped data. So I've come over here, you see. Now I'm using list 3 and list 4. And list 3, I've typed in, typed in some numbers. 52. In list 4, the frequency is 2. 67, a frequency of 7. 73, a frequency of 9. 84, a frequency of 11. And 96, a frequency of 2. Now, I would like to calculate grouped data, and I want to get my statistical results for grouped data. Now, what I'm going to do, then hit the exit, and I'm going to come back to calculate. Here's calculate. But I must check set. Now, remember, the data is in three, and the frequencies are in four. Now it says my date is in list one. I've got to change that. So I hit list and the data is in number three. So I hit three and execute. Now it says where is my frequency? So I come down. Where is my frequency? I hit list. My frequency is in 4. I hit 4 and execute. And now you see it says the date is in 3, the frequency is in 4. Okay, I exit to bring me back to this menu. And once again, see I'm going to hit one variable stat here. When I do, it gives me that data. <coughs> and so for this data, my mean is 75. I have the population and sample standard deviations, and I have 31 numbers. And again, my five number summary, and the mode is 84. I have more 84s than anything else. Alrighty, and that's all there is to it. Now I need to show you this. So let's say now you want to go back to using raw data. Let's say you were going to put raw data in list two. I've got a set. It says, where do I want to put my raw data? Now the highlight is on my raw data X list. I hit execute, uh, I hit set, and I actually I hit list, list, and then I want to put raw data in two. I hit two raw data. Now, I want raw data, so I don't want, actually I want that to be two, list two, okay? Now, here's a catch. Frequency has to be one. Now, I'm gonna come down to this next line, and this is very important that you see this. I want to use raw data. I want the frequency to be one. All I have to do, do you see this one right here? I just hit F1, which will make it one, and I hit exit, and I'll be good to go. So then, just to finish the story, if I come over to list two, let's enter some numbers, and let's say 85, 74, 63, 92, 85. All righty. And all I have to do now is hit F1. And it gives me the data for those numbers. So I want to get this video up. I know some of you are using the Casio. And I want to get this up quickly. I'll come back and try to make it a little more efficient and add some details later.
but this will get you started with this Casio. Hope this will help you a lot.